Hey Technostuds, in our last video, we set up Pat on our network. We had internal IP addresses, they were private addresses, that we wanted to route to the outside world, the public, which requires a public address. To do that, we set up Pat so that it can make that translation. That is a very common setup. But another thing that happens is sometimes there are people on the outside world that you want to have access to an inside resource. An example of that is within our private addressing, we may have a web server, but we want that web server to be accessible from the outside. So in this video, let's cover static NAT, which is gonna allow people from the outside to be able to access a resource on the inside. This is my network right here. I'm on this demo laptop. On this demo Pi, this is a Pi that's running a web server. And so if I go to 10.1.30.23, I can actually reach it because I'm still within this private addressing scheme here. So I'm gonna bring up a browser and I'm going to go to 10.1.30.23. I'm gonna hit enter and there is my web page right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I want this to be accessible from somewhere outside of the network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this so that way anybody that's within this network right here can actually reach this demo Pi 3. So I need to do a network address translation to translate from an address in this range right here to be an address within this range right here. So what I'm going to do is I have the command IP NAT inside source it's gonna be static, it's gonna be TCP, and I'm choosing just to do the single port. So that way it's not going to open up this whole machine up to the outside world, it's just going to do uh, just this one, uh, this one web page or this one website. So then I'm reaching it from 10.1.30.23, so that's the, the Pi's address right here. And then I'm gonna choose an IP address, and this is port 80. And then I'm gonna choose an IP address that is somewhere within this network right here so I can test this. This is my home network. It's a 192.168.42.0 network. And I'm going to choose .251 to be the web server here. All right, so there is only this one command. There's nothing that's, uh, notice that 192.168.42.251 is not something I've configured on this router before. So just with this one NAT statement, this is going to make this functional. So I'm gonna get on to router two. So I'll pull up router two. I need to be into the global configuration mode. So I'll get into there. I've already in my last video set up my IP NAT inside and IP NAT outside statements. So I don't need to reset that up at all. I'm going to paste this into here and we'll hit enter. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump onto a machine that's on my home network and then I'll show you that we can actually bring it up. Okay, I'm now on my home network. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first of all, start by typing in a browser 10.1.30.23. That's the address of the Pi. I hit enter and as you can see, it doesn't resolve, it doesn't do anything. And the reason why it does is, is this is sending this to the default gateway. It says, this is part of another network. I need to go through my default gateway. It sends it to the, my home router and the home router says, uh, there's, I don't know about this, 10 network and so it just drops it and therefore now I'm not going to be able to get to that network, get to that web page. But what's happening is if I type in 192.168.42.251, I'm actually going to be able to get to that network. Let's take a look at the reason why that is actually working. What's happening in this case is I'm on a machine that's on my home network and it sends it to this 192.168.42.251. And it's, it's gonna, first of all, send down an ARP request and say, who belongs to this IP address? This router two sees that that is part of its NAT statements. And so it's gonna respond to that 
ARP request and say, this is my MAC address. This is where you want to send it. So then my machine then says, okay, great. I want to get a web page from this. R2 then translates that, does the NAT translation into the 10.1.30.23, the private addressing, and then it makes it to this demo pi 3. This demo pi 3 then responds back. It gets retranslated into this 192.168.42.251 and then gets sent to this uh, the, the device that's on this home network. So then we have communication. So now I can reach this web page from outside of the network, which I just think is so cool to get this to all communicate and all functioning. So there you have it. This is static math.